Hey guys, what's up? It's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be yet another haul video. I know, because what would a couple days on my channel be without another clothing haul? So that's what I'm doing today. I just have some new pieces that I wanted to show you guys before they stop being sold. So that's why I'm doing this video. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. My Instagram username is Molly Bales, and I post on there all the time and I love Instagram so much. I love interacting with you guys and I always creep on you. So make sure to go check out my Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. I love it so much. Okay, so anyways, the first store that I'm gonna start off with is Lily Silk, which they actually sent me this and I'm super excited to show it to you guys because I cannot wait to wear this. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. I just think this is the most beautiful red silky tank top. It's so sexy with the little black lace on it. I just think that this would be so fun for a date night or even just a girls night out if you're going to like a nicer dinner or something like that. And it is so incredibly soft. So I have super random, but a 16% off coupon code. It's just Miss Molly Ann 14. So if you guys use that at checkout in like the women's clothing category, you're gonna get that discount off. And you also get a free sleeping mask if you use my code and you order something, which is really good. Next up, I just have one thing. I feel like I can easily have a nip slip in this shirt. Anyways, I just have one thing from Forever 21 that you guys have been asking so many questions about. It's this little thermal. Is that what they're called? Thermal, I believe, is the material or like a waffle shirt type. And it's in a camo print. It's cut off, long sleeve. I love this so much. I Instagrammed myself wearing it, but I just have been obsessed with camo lately. So when I saw this at Forever 21 for like $10, I knew that I had to get it. And I love it. And you guys are asking so many questions about it. So go Forever 21. They have been stepping up their game. Okay, the next place I'm gonna show you guys some stuff from is Brandy Melville. I have not shopped there in so long, but when I walked in, when I was in LA a couple weeks ago, they just had so many good basics. Like I wanted so many things in their store. So I picked up quite a few things. The first thing I got, I wore this in an Instagram pretty recently as well. And I got a lot of DMs from you guys asking where I got it. It's just from Brandy Melville, a white cropped zipper hoodie. I love this so much, just like a good basic to have and I really wanted a white hoodie. And then another thing, this is unfortunate. It used to be like a really pretty yellow and now it's kind of like a bluish yellow because for some reason when I washed it with other things, it got messed up. This is just like a good basic to have and it's super comfortable. I wear it around the house all the time. Next up, I love this top so much. I wanna get it in so many different colors. It's just a navy waffle shirt that has little buttons on the front of it. So this is again, just a really good basic to have. I love navy, it's one of my favorite colors and it's really, really soft. Okay, and then I got two little tank tops which are really adorable. This one is white and it just has a couple of buttons up the front of it. I thought that this would look so nice with just some light wash denim and like a nice belt. Oh, if I had a Gucci belt, that would be an outfit, but unfortunately I don't yet one day. But anyways, this is just a nice top to wear with so many different things, skirts, jeans, anything. It's really cute. So this next top, um, I didn't try it on because there was such a long line in Brandy to try stuff on in the dressing room, so I just bought all of this stuff without trying it on. Luckily, everything pretty much worked, but this one is a little bit booby, um, kind of like this top, but it's just like, it's a lot. It's just a white and blue striped little tank, and I love this little V right here. It is very flattering, I will say that. Okay, next up, you guys know Urban Outfitters is my weakness, my all-time favorite store. So when I was in LA, I walked in and they had some different things than my Urban does here. So I, of course, had to get some things. First thing I got, I have yet to wear this, but I'm so excited to. It's this denim skirt. You guys know how much I love denim skirts by BDG, and it is checkered print, obviously. It is so different and fun, and I just, oh, I love this so much. And it even has like a circle zipper in the front of it, and it's just really flattering and cute, and just, again, it's something so fun. Next up from Urban, I got this pair of Adidas pants, which these are really different, especially for me, because they're mid-rise, they're not high-rise. So they feel a little bit weird when I'm wearing them, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm just so used to high-waisted things. And then they just go down as a regular track pants, but I just thought that these were so different and fun 
and just like another good thing to have in my closet because I have a black pair and I wear them like every day. So the last thing I got from Urban, I am full on obsessed with. I know so many people own this, but I just couldn't resist it when I saw it because I know in the fall time I'm going to be getting so much use out of this denim jacket. It is so cool. It's by BGG. It basically has every single shade of denim on it that you can imagine, which I love because it'll go with so many different things. I've seen a lot of people style this on Instagram and I thought it looked so cool. I got it in a medium and it's a little bit oversized on me actually, so if you want it to fit like a normal jacket would, I would say go down a size. Okay, and lastly for this haul video, I know it's not that big. I have a couple things from Windsor that I really wanted to show you guys. The first thing is a bathing suit. They were kind enough to send me all of this stuff, which was so nice of them. But I love this bathing suit. I'm not going to try this on just because I have like fresh stretch marks. They're like... I'm kind of embarrassed about them to be honest, they haven't faded as much as my other ones have yet, so I'm not going to try it on on camera because, you know, the high definition, it's not cute. But I'll insert a picture of me wearing it because I took one last night because I knew that I wasn't going to try it on. I'm telling you too much information, but anyways, this is a really cute bathing suit. It is like an emerald green that has kind of like a little bit of a sheen to it. So these are the bottoms, they are high-waisted, which I don't know how I feel about high-waisted bottoms. I feel like they kind of look weird on me. And then this is what the top looks like, which I think is really cute. It's like a little sports bra-esque type, and it just fits really well. I got this in a size medium. It's a little bit tight, but not too bad. So yeah, I recommend Windsor's bathing suits because they're really affordable compared to most places these days. Okay, next up I got two dresses, which unfortunately I'm not going to try these on. I'll insert pictures of what they look like on models um, on their website just because they are a little bit tight on my stomach still, which is a little bit weird for me for like a medium to still be a little bit tight, like a small I would get, but a medium? But I'm going on vacation in the fall time, I believe, to Aruba with my family, so I'm sure I'll get used out of them then. But they are gorgeous. This one is a blue gingham, light blue, and it has off the shoulders, and then it's supposed to go down kind of like A-line, bodycon-ish in between those two and it just zips up in the back. Okay, so then this other dress you guys are gonna laugh because it's really, really similar, I know, to the one I just showed you. It's just a darker blue gingham, but this one is more of like that classic shape that you see all over Instagram and everything recently that's just kind of like more square at the top and then it goes A-line. So I just thought that this was a really pretty color. Okay, then I have two other tops from them. These are actually pretty similar as well. Um, the first one that I got is this white one, which I absolutely love. I can't wait until it's fall time and like college is back up again, even though I don't go to college. I like to go to college parties and like hang out with people and friends and stuff like that. So this is going to be great for going out. So yeah, it's just this white sheer ruffled top. If you guys have any suggestions of bras that I should wear underneath it, let me know because I don't like the one that I wore in the try-on haul. It was like a little bit too contrasted. Okay, and then the last thing in this video is also see-through. This is a really pretty peachy pinkish color, and I just thought that this was something fun, different again, and I don't know what kind of bra I would wear underneath this one. Comment down below on this one as well. Would you wear like black and have it be lacy or no lace? Let me know your thoughts. Or I could wear like a tank top underneath it possibilities are endless. Alright you guys, so that was everything for this haul video. Not as many pieces as normal, but definitely still a lot. I'll have everything linked down below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all that good stuff. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you in my next one very soon.